Now, let's assume that we have just completed the initial settings from the previous tutorial. And now, I want to begin adding entries one by one. That's one of the options you have. One of the other two options are to import from a CSV file. You're familiar with that if you had an electronic logbook in the past. And uh, one of the other options is that you can set your flight time or procedures offset. I'm going to show you here. To do that, just go to Settings, Aviation Experience, and here are uh, here's your section. Okay, you want to uh, basically you want to add however many hours you have total today, and these numbers will be added to whatever numbers you keep adding from today on to your logbook. Let's say for example, 100 hours for my total flight time. Okay, say so I have 100 hours today. I'm going to go back to the logbook and right here my entire career totals is showing me that I have 100 hours. Okay? So, let me go ahead and uh, erase that because that's not that's not what I want to do. Okay. Uh the next thing that I want to do is change my password. To do that, I'm going to go to settings, personal info, and new password, I'm going to enter a new password for me. Okay, click save. We're good to go. Now I'm going to go to flight time, logbook. There we go, we're back at the logbook. And we are ready to somewhat begin doing this. Uh, somewhat because I want to check my logbook over uh, to make sure that I have all the fields that I want and none of the fields that I don't want. This is the basic logbook that was made for me uh, depending on the answers that I gave during my initial settings. Uh, right here, yes, it's looking like I want to add one more field and that's going to be for cost because I want to track how much money uh, my flight training has cost me. And by the way, uh, there are three different types of, of, of fields that you're going to encounter in Vortex Log. Uh, one of them being the individual headers, which are always all the way to the left side of your logbook. Then you have on the right side, uh, you have uh, top headers or dark headers. Uh, and under them, you have subheaders, self-explanatory. Okay, so I want to create w one new individual header, and I'm going to name it Cost. Okay, so to do that, click the Edit Columns tab. then move your cursor down to new individual header click it and a new column is created for me here by default it's named new header and I want to rename it to cost okay once I'm done just click outside of it okay good to go uh, just so you know there are two different values <clears throat> two different types of values that you can have and your columns. Uh, numeric is the standard uh, default one and you can also have text. Uh, the numeric ones, the difference between the two is that the numeric ones are added all the way at the bottom in your total section. Moving on, I think I'm ready to add a new flight now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the new flight tab and my new flight form will appear in green all the way at the bottom of the logbook. My new flight took place on November 8, 2003. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. It was uh, Cessna 172 Romeo. Uh, the identification or the end number was 908-907 Foxtrot. Okay, from the Palomar Airport in Carlsbad. And this was my discovery flight. i uh, say it was 1.2 hours. Uh, $69, let's say $69 just about, uh, 1.2 hours. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to click save. There we go. Now a few things happen here. Uh, the first thing you might notice happened was that your flight was added 
uh, to your logbook right here. Also, the logbook went by default to the month of November 2003. And also your totals were added down here. Your aircraft and airport information are automatically filled in for you in the uh, new flight form for the next time you want to use, uh, you want to enter a new flight. Uh, that will not be today for me, so I'm going to click cancel. Now, you are able to edit all of these fields with the exception of data. I'm going to explain why later. Um, but you're able to edit all of these fields only by double click on them. I'm going to put one landing there. And uh, you double click it, change it. And then once you're done changing it, just click outside of it. Another way that you can do it is by clicking the pencil icon on the very left side of the entry. I'm going to do that. And that's going to take me to the single entry view of the logbook. Okay. And I'm going to check it over and see if there's anything that I want to change. Yes, I want to change the date. Uh, it was November 9th, 2003. And I'm going to click save. All right. See what happens. And automatically, I'm taken back to the logbook. And the entry that I recently edited will appear momentarily in green and then it's going to turn back to the original color that it's supposed to be and there it is on November 9, 2003 very well I just remembered that I have a CSV file that I want to import okay so I want to delete this uh, flight and I do that by clicking on the checkbox on the very left side of the entry and then click the delete button all the way at the top on the header. Uh, yes, I'm sure. There we go. I have no entries in my logbook. And now I want to import a CSV file.